In this video, we're going to be talking about the signs and symptoms of depression because a little bit of knowledge in these areas can go a long way towards us feeling better and understanding what we're dealing with. We're going to be covering three things. Number one, that you're not alone in this struggle at all. It's very common. Number two, it's important that you take it seriously. And number three, that you can absolutely overcome what's happening to you right now. Hi, I'm Sean Johnson. And the first thing we want to talk about is that you're not alone. First statistic comes from Science Daily. And according to them, depression affects 121 million people across the world. So what does that say? Well, it's really common. Uh, I've struggled with depression. I've struggled with anxiety. I still am dealing with these things. So the fact that you are struggling in these areas, don't feel like you're abnormal or weird in any way. It's very normal because it's kind of designed the way our brains work. We first feel things before we are able to think about them. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. The second thing to know is according to the Center for Disease Control, the most prescribed drugs in America right now are antidepressants. So we're dealing with stresses of life that are really stressing us out and we're not sure how to handle that. So it's pretty normal to feel these ways and to go through these experiences. Second thing is, is that we need to take it seriously. People just feel so much pain, they feel so dark, they feel so afraid, so sad, so helpless, so hopeless, but they just want it to end at any cost. And this is responsible, they believe, for 850,000 deaths a year. So don't think just because it's, oh, an emotional problem or an emotional disturbance that it isn't very real, that it isn't something to take very seriously. So here's some of the symptoms to be looking for. Number one is going to be a persistently sad or empty mood. Not just having a bad day here or there, but week after week consistently feeling empty, really sad. Uh, that is often followed by a feeling of being very tired or run down, where you just don't feel like you can meet your own expectations. The doing ordinary and regular things in life seems to be overbearing and overwhelming and you can't do it. Uh, difficulty sleeping. And this can be in two areas. In one side, uh, sleep can be like an escape where you're just sleeping constantly yet you never feel like you have energy. The other side is more of an anxious feeling, an anxiety, and you are just stressed out and on edge. And so, of course, you can't sleep. Your mind is racing. Other symptoms, spontaneous weeping or spontaneous outbursts of anger. You find yourself flying off the handle, you're irritable. And that would also follow into the other symptoms of being persistently irritable, uh, short temper, uh, really oversensitive to criticism, really makes you mad, you fire up, or somebody says something that's just a little bit critical and just sends you spiraling down. These are all signs to be looking for. Uh, difficulty thinking and concentrating difficulty making a decision. Uh, and all of this uh, also results in the symptom of very low self-esteem, where you just don't feel like you are enough, you don't measure up, and you can't come through, even if there's areas of things that you used to enjoy, or you were able to excel in or perform very well in the past. Now you feel like, oh, there's just no way I could do that. Another symptom that follows, and this is probably one of the most debilitating ones, is we tend to isolate. We're not reaching out. We're not communicating. We're just getting smaller and smaller in our world of insecurities and fears and depression. So there's that withdrawal from friends and family. Uh, another symptom that is really important to look out for is a loss of interest in activities that you used to be into. Maybe you used to like to run or play frisbee or a sport, and now you don't even feel like doing that. Also, persistent physical problems that are not going away. Uh, when we're really upset emotionally like this, we can have chronic headaches. Uh, it is happening in our head, in our system, and our head will physically hurt. 
Also digestive problems. Our digestive system goes into like a fight or flight. Uh, the body is sending it messages that we're in danger. It doesn't digest properly. Substance abuse problems. If you're, you know, normally have a drink or two a week and now you're having two or three every night just to calm down, just to escape, just to get some rest, uh, that's a problem. And then finally, uh, the most dangerous one to look out for is when the pain is just so unbearable that you feel like you will do anything to get out of that pain and you begin to consider the thoughts of ending your life. And if you've got a plan to end your life, you need to stop and go straight to the description. There's an emergency phone line there for a suicide hotline. Call them. Don't let this go any further. The third point is that you can overcome this. As scary and as dark as all those symptoms and statistics are, the truth is that according to the National Center for Health Statistics, between 80 and 90 percent of people who seek help find serious relief from their symptoms. So the reality is, is there are things that you can do about it. And seeking help online like you're doing right now, looking at this video is something you can do about it. Talk therapy, seeing a psychiatrist, joining a support group. Um, I've created a free online course uh, below in the description. It's at the website lovehealsdepression.com. We'll give you over an hour of free video instructions, some worksheets you can download and work through and a positive affirmation recording, all designed to help get you on your feet, to be better, to feel better, understand what's happening to you, and begin to take some control and get on with your life because you deserve to be happy and you deserve to live a full life. So go for it, take action, and be a friend to yourself. Love brings self-acceptance, forgiveness and care. Love is more than human life, more than stress, worry and fear. Love is God above and when it comes to healing, He's the only one. If you have that love, you'll see, you can be strong, free and happy. Check out Love Feels Depression. Dot com